I remember once, and this was 97, you used to fill out this form when you went into South Africa for the customs to ask you what your profession was. So for many years traveling in Africa, I never would say I'm a photographer. I always said businessman. Then for a while when I started to spend more time in photography, I would say photographer. Then there was a time in 97, I remember, I said photographer slash artist. I think my work has evolved a little step at a time. So I think the issue was beginning in, in 2002. I documented people the way I documented people. And you can begin to see in the Outland, there's an introduction of drawing and texture and motifs in the work beginning in the mid late 90s. And so I began to explore other areas that were relevant to what I was doing. So as an artist, you know, I'm not there to please other people or the, uh, to do the same thing over and over again. The purpose of art to me is it's an existential quest to better define myself. So I can't be defining myself now the same way I did 30 years ago. What's the point? I'm here once. I'm not here 10 times on this planet. So, you know, it's a natural evolution. And I also felt at the time, you know, I didn't, was really getting tired of people trying to, uh, define my works in terms of white, black political situation in South Africa. So I felt there was a need to universalize the work. And this, I think, really was the beginning in 97 where I started to interact with these subjects in a theatrical way where I was creating a drama, if you want to say that, that went beyond the situation there. I mean, you interpret the work the way you want it, uh, politically, socially, politi poetically, philosophically, and and as time has gone on, it's really impossible to just uh, view the work as a political, cultural statement. You can't do it. It it's only, it's, could only be seen as a small part of the work. You know, I exist in it as a person in a culture in a time, obviously, and it plays a role in anybody's life. But I've always tried to um, find more universal archetypal themes. And that's what's always been interesting to me, not the contemporary. That's not of interest to me, really. I'm, I've always uh, tell people, students especially, you know, they say, well, what am I going supposed to do? What would I suggest? I always say the same thing. If you want to be an art photographer, there are a few things you have to think of. One, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to be focused. You have to be disciplined. And you have to have something, some talent, you know. I don't have talent as a ballet dancer. I could practice ballet for the rest of my life. I know I have no talent, so there's no point if I want to do this seriously. So do you actually have any talent? It's always difficult in contemporary art. So that's uh, one issue is, and the other issue, you know, your chances of success as an art photographer are almost zero, almost zero. It's, every year it's worse. So many images out there. So the key thing uh, then is to find another career, parallel career. So. This decision I made, I mean, there was no market for photography. You've got to remember in the 1980s, nobody bought photography. So the idea that you could actually make a, a success out of uh, selling pictures was, was close to zero, actually close to zero. So there was no idea that you're going you're to make any money out of this. So, um, but this was a very crucial thing that I found something that I liked. And for 30 years or 25, 30 years, I... I did these two professions in, in parallel uh, until I began to be noticed as an art photographer and to sell the work. But if I hadn't found a career that I liked and I had some freedom, I don't think I would be where I am right now. In a million years, I wouldn't be. If I had ended up in a bank or is it something else, you know, st stuck in the office, probably frustrated, this career in photography wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened. You know, the, the, photo the geology supported supported my career. There was a saying uh, in the old Rhodesia, which became Zimbabwe among many of the white population of when they moved outside of Rhodesia, they always said they were called uh, could have, what was it? Could have, would have, what have. So it's like, yeah, 
thankful that, you know, if I didn't look this way, I would have looked one way or another way, I could have been run over by a car. What happens if I had won the lottery? So, you know, you can't, life is life, you know, there's always things, oh, if I'd only done this, only done that. But I really am very happy with the way things turn, have turned out. I've been, had my health, my family's healthy. A lot of people know my pictures. I still get the same passion out of taking pictures that I uh, did when I was younger, so uh, I can't ex expect anymore. I really think I'm very uh, uh, lucky and privileged to be in this position, so I, I'm absolutely delighted uh, that uh, things have turned out the way they have, you know. N nothing is ever perfect, and you really have to be thankful f for a lot of the good things that have happened, so I'm very thankful. Even if you do something that seems to be totally disastrous, it'll all come out of the wash somehow or other. Then, through this capacity, you will develop a kind of confidence. And through confidence, you will be able to trust your own intuition.